Hey, hey, it's around here. In this tech tutorial, I'm gonna share with you how to clean your list from bounced emails and make sure that your email deliverability stays proper. So this is just a best practices activity for your email marketing. And this is something that I recommend you do after every email newsletter that you send out. And also periodically, maybe you could do like once a week, once a month, depending on how often you send emails okay, to kind of clean up the list and make sure you're not sending emails to email addresses that are wrong or anything like that, because that will hurt your deliverability. So let me share my screen and show you the process. So basically, here's the deal. I've sent this list, this email, and I've done this process a few times, so I don't have a lot of bounced, but I still have a few email addresses right here, but you can see here, bounced. Now, the way to get there is when you see your newsletters, you can click right here, click on stats, and then it will actually take you to the stats. Now, you gotta click on the top, which is the bounce button, and you will see the bounce rate. So you can see here, it is 0.12%, which is five people. So I'm gonna click on bounce again, and in the top bounce, all the bounce are gonna appear right here. Now, here's what you're gonna do. You're going to right click on the name. It's gonna open in a new tab, and then you can scroll down, and you can see if this is the first bounce. So you can see over the red, it says the email was not delivered because of a delivery, delivery issue. Now, I happen to know this person, so I messaged them on Messenger and said, hey, is this your email? And they confirmed it is and it was only just one bounce and they were actually migrating their website and that's why. So I'm not removing them from the list or anything like that. Now I'm gonna click on the next one and I'm gonna have scroll down and then I'll see that all the recent emails I've sent them is actually bounced. You can see all these reds. This means they're all bounced. So this email, you definitely wanna unsubscribe. So you just click on unsubscribe from all email marketing, click on confirm and then that's that, okay? So they will not be emailed again. Now you're gonna go to the next one right click, go to the contact, scroll all the way. You'll see that this one has bounced, but not for a long time, only recently. So might be something off about that. Now you can also look a bit further down to see if they've actually opened your email at any point. And you can see this person hasn't opened my emails in quite a while, um, you know, is going back, okay, even bounced earlier. So it bounced and it stopped bouncing. And it looks like they haven't opened one email for me from, since the very beginning. So in this case, I'm going to simply, um, you know, just in this case, I'm gonna unsubscribe them as well. Um, the emails bounce and I got zero opens from this person. You know, it's fine if they, if they really find me again and join, fantastic, but I'm not gonna bother. Next one, scroll all the way down. You can see this one has also bounced for quite a while now. Yeah, they've been bounced for a long time. So I'm gonna unsubscribe them as well. And then I'll do the last one, which is this one open a new tab. Okay, this is obviously a spam. So you could see here, this obviously came from an embed form on my WordPress site. It's obviously spam. So I'm definitely gonna unsubscribe this one. So um, click on unsubscribe. And in fact, if something like that, I'll see if I can even delete this contact. I don't even want it. Click on delete, confirm. Yeah, I'll just delete it altogether. Okay, so it doesn't even exist. Another thing that I notice is there's this one email that every time I send an email, I get like a little notification, which is just like an auto reply. So then I find the email address in my system account. And basically I see that, I mean, I've never received a reply from this person. It always says that it's open, but the reality is that it keeps on going to auto replies and I never get a reply or anything like that. So I unsubscribe that one as well. And that's that. So that's how you clean up your email list from the bounce emails. You want to make sure you do that periodically because it does help with your deliverability and it does hurt your deliverability if you don't do that. So uh, go ahead and do that. Make sure you, you do it. Depending on what software you're using, it might look different, obviously, but this is a tutorial using system IO. Um, either way, the practice is still identical and every email software will actually have what I just showed you. Hope you get out of this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Speak to you soon. Thanks a lot for watching this tutorial. I really appreciate it. So if you have not used system or haven't tested it out, you can actually create a free account. You're missing out big time. It is a great software. And all you gotta do is go to aranbukai.com forward slash SIO. That will take you to the system page. You enter your email, you create a free account, take it to a test drive. And when you feel confident, like you're ready to go and this is a good tool, the pricing is simply 27 a month, or you can also get 197 a year, which is pricing is not available on their website, but I have a special link for that if you wanna take advantage of it. It's actually 10 times cheaper than the bigger competitors and so on, and it's a really good plan. So if you wanna check it out, uh, go to rambukai.com forward slash SIO, and let me know once you had a bit of a look around. 
Uh, that's about it. If you have any other questions or tutorials that you'd like me to make on System I.O., definitely let me know. Leave a comment below. I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, that's about it. Thanks. I'll speak to you soon.